What's up, Multiverse? Dr. Dave here, and welcome to the Geek Lounge. Can you believe it's something like 16 or 17 degrees cooler than yesterday? But that is not even the best news of the day because, guys, my Funko Fun Days box of fun boxes, actually plural boxes of fun, have finally arrived, and we're actually going to be opening up one of these on today's video. <sighs> And as you guys can see, we only have three boxes here. For some unknown reason, the very first box that I ordered, the Proto Robots one, hasn't even dispatched yet. I don't know if there's an issue with it. I haven't contacted FungoEurope.com. I thought I'd wait a couple of days, see what happens. But I really hope it does arrive in the next day or two. I wanted to open up one of these on a video each day. Four days of fun, like I mentioned in the last video. So it is a little bit annoying, but I guess it is not the end of the world. But just before we get into one of these boxes for today's video, guys, I did did want to give a quick like reminder and a little bit of information for San Diego Comic-Con. And the event actually kicks off tomorrow, Thursday the 21st of July, lasting four days. One of, if not the biggest Comic-Con in the world, finally returning to like a physical format. It's been gone for the last couple of years due to the pandemic. But FunkoEurope.com and I, I guess Funko Shop in the US as well have announced this, but we are only specifically concentrating on the UK and Europe for this little update. They have announced that some of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive of Funko Pops will be dropping on the website tomorrow. And so as a reminder, they will be dropping at 2.30 p.m. British Standard Time, which is 3.30 p.m. Central European Time. Now they have announced that this is only part one of a launch. And when I saw the image, I was like, it kind of looks like everything is here to me, so I'm not really sure what you mean by part one, but then I did notice that little asterisk in the corner which said that these pops are launching at a later date. And those specific ones launching at a later date are the Purge Trooper from Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, as well as Enmu from Demon Slayer, though both of those are actually heading to Forbidden Planet International and Smith's Toys. I imagine all of the like shared retailers will be starting to kind of stock these from next week and beyond. And then the other two that they announced were Hatsune Miku the Soda, as well as, oh, pardon me, there are another two actually, uh, Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen, as well as the Flocked Chrysanthemum from the Book of Boba Fett show. Those are actually launching at a later date. Those last three that I mentioned, the Soda, uh, Itadori, and Chrysanthemum, they are actually all FunkoEurope.com exclusives, so they won't be dropping in any other store, so we'll have to keep an eye out for when those do eventually drop online but as for the rest of the items dropping on the website tomorrow and i thought i would give you guys some information on those that are heading exclusively to fungoeurope.com and not heading to any other stores we obviously collect what we want we all have our different fandoms me personally there are quite a lot here uh, that i will be picking up so yeah, it will be another expensive day for me. But those heading exclusively to FungoEurope.com are the following. All of the Fungo sodas, which I did find was a little bit strange because sodas in the past have gone to like Smith's Toys, for instance, but there has been no mention that the sodas are heading anywhere else. They may do at a later date, but for now, Funko have only announced that all of the sodas will be dropping online. The Fungoville t-shirt is an exclusive to the site, though I don't really know how many people will be picking those up. And as for all of the pops, we have the two TMNT Power Rangers crossovers, the Super Chocho from Boruto, Ted Lasso, the Demogorgon Lounge Fly and Pop, the Young He Doll from Squid Game, as well as Peacemaker. I did mention them earlier. The Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen and the Flocked Chrysanthemum are also FunkoEurope.com exclusives, but they seem to be launching at a later date. And I very quickly wanted to touch on four Funko Pops that are dropping tomorrow but are then heading in-store to Game. It's not to be unfair to Game. HMV is similar, but those two stores... Well, there's actually nothing heading exclusively to HMV this time around. But these two stores, I do find them incredibly expensive when it relates to the exclusives that they get. I've seen them in Game, some exclusives, just the general size ones, going for $24.99, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. So... I guess only time will tell. I think I have seen them for cheaper than that, but yeah, Game and HMV typically are always a lot more expensive than the other stores, particularly when it comes to exclusives. Those four exclusives heading to Game are Serpentor from G.I. Joe, Unicom from Transformers, the Metallic Charmander from Pokemon, as well as the Penguin Duck Ride 
from Batman Returns. So my like advice would be to try and pick these up on FunkoEurope.com because I do think they will be a little bit cheaper, but certainly don't hold me to that because there's like no guarantees. And speaking of pricing, if we look at the history of the con exclusives, when they drop on FunkoEurope.com, the general size ones normally retail for £18. The sodas are typically £16. The Funkoville t-shirt, I would like to think it's going to be 20 I mean, it may go up to 25 with it being a con exclusive. I guess only time will tell. And then for like the six inches and deluxes, I'm honestly not too sure. I wouldn't be surprised to see them upwards of 25 pounds, but I imagine they will be slightly higher than that. Probably somewhere between 30 to 35. We see a lot of deluxes sell for 33 on FunkoEurope.com, but you know, these are con exclusives. So again, they might be pushing those up. And then there is of course the Demogorgon Lounge Fly and Pop. This is going to go for probably a hundred and 10 pounds I would think definitely over 100 pounds so yeah guys these drop at 2 30 p.m british standard time 3 30 p.m central european time on funkoeurope.com tomorrow thursday the 21st of july they have announced that there won't be any lottery or anything like that it is a free-for-all but there's mention of a queuing system i guess it'll be similar to the uh, funko fun days boxes where there'll be a queue once you check out and you'll probably have to wait uh, well we don't really know. I only had to wait, I think, about 10 minutes uh, to check those out. So hopefully it is a little bit similar. And I really do hope you guys manage to pick up what you want for the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. But that's enough about San Diego Comic-Con, guys, because that is tomorrow. Today we are opening up this box of fun. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really know which one this is. The boxes, I was a bit surprised when they came because they are exactly the same. We have like Blacklight Battle 2022 on there. On the back, you've got like the legal jargon as well as the four sponsors. Well, sponsors, that's not really the right. Like teams, I guess they were, right? Blacklight Bandits, Pop Protectors, Proto Robots and Killer Clowns, as you guys can see there. And they actually make up the side of the boxes there. The Blacklight Bandits. We have the, I think that's the Killer Clowns. Yeah, I'm just looking there in the viewfinder. We have the Proto Robots in the back. That was actually the first one I purchased. And like I said, for whatever reason, it still hasn't dispatched yet. And then we have the Pop Protectors there on the side, a little bit of tape that we need to then uh, cut to get inside. So yeah, I, I did find the boxes a little bit weird. I thought they were going to be specific, um, you, you know, to like the character, like it was going to have like killer clowns here on the front for them, pop protectors like on the front for them. So I'm assuming that Funko kind of boxed these up afterwards, right? Because how do they know there's, there's no kind of like unique barcode or anything to say which this box was, you know, which of these characters uh, that you're going to get in there. So I was a little bit surprised about that, but you know what, guys, I've talked enough. I was going to say um, I, I've seen images and things online, you know, on Instagram. Disc trackers has posted quite a lot on Instagram. I've seen a lot of people in my Facebook groups posting what they've got, but I have purposely stayed away from unboxings on like YouTube and Instagram because uh, I wanted to kind of this to be like a fresh and a bit of a surprise for me. But yeah, I have obviously seen quite a few of the things that are released in here, but I don't know then. If we open up this box right now, are we going to see what is inside straight away? Because I kind of wanted to do a bit of a surprise. But yeah, there's no like packaging or anything on here um, per se. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to pick them out. I'm just trying to... I wanted to find... All oh, right, I found the black light and I've managed not to, um, not to look at what I've got, which is quite cool. All I saw was Freddy Funko, but all of the, uh, the kind of mystery elements are Freddy Funko figures. So I have managed to grab the black light one. And, and from what I understand as well, none of the... Um, None of the Freddy Fungos are actually black lights, or at least that's what I've seen. So I can look down here. Right, so this box is actually the Black Light Bandits box, and we have here the I guess the Black Light Bandit, right? 6,250 pieces limited. I actually didn't close the box, but I still haven't seen what it is there to the side of me. Man, it's really hard to do this when you're not looking. Right, the box is now closed. So there is the Black Light Bandit there, guys. Does look pretty cool, but like I said, I don't think any of the Freddy Funkos themselves are black lights. It was only these. There is the Black Light Battle 2022 sticker. If you guys can make that as, out as well. Like I said, these are limited to 6,250 pieces and then I think the Freddy Funkos are like 4,000 I think some are 2,000 some are 1,000 um, 
you know, so on and so forth. I don't know if everything has been revealed yet uh, online, if, if we've literally seen everything that you can possibly get. Um, again, time will tell. These boxes are starting to, you know, everyone's starting to receive theirs now. So I guess, um, you, you know, we are going to start to see that more and more and a list be made of exactly what was there. But yeah, as for this figure, guys, it is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit like Rocket Raccoon, I guess. Um, yeah, it's a, I guess, Black Light Bandit was, was what it's called, right? He's got a spray can there. It's got like the Freddy Funko uh, crown on his spray can. Really nice kind of colour scheme. Um, I, I'm not like a, a huge, huge fan of Black Light Funko Bops, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, I think they do look really cool, and, and especially some of the setups that people have, but they're not something that I've particularly gone crazy for. I do own a few that I've either got in mystery boxes or... You know, just happen to really like the pop and uh, and then get it. I did get like the Galactus Chase, which which was pretty cool. I picked it up in a sale and then happened to get the Chase. So I was pretty happy with that. But yeah, this figure is nice and colourful. It is very, very cool. But uh, yeah, the real thing, guys, is what Freddy Funkos we got. So let's check that out now. There's like a real annoying flap here. I have to lift up first, then put that down to then close the lid. So... We've got this one here, flap goes down, lid goes down. I'm trying to work out what the front is, I think there we go. So this is our first one, guys. What did we get here? I think it's one of the Squid, well, let's say I think it's one of the Squid King ones because it actually says Squid Game here on the back. We actually got the 4,000 piece Freddy Funko as masked soldier there where he has the triangular mask. And now I saw a lot of people really did enjoy this one because it is a bit of a different head sculpt when you think about it. You don't really see Freddy with this hood on. He's got the black crown on the top there as well, holding that triangular mask. I mean, I guess the mask is a bit too small really for the Funko head, but you know, these figures are all about fun. There's never any like, you know, correct ratio or anything. He is holding the gun. It's, it's like Masked Soldier. Yeah, the Triangle guys, I mean, it's been a while since I watched Squid Game now, but I did recently get all of the pops, obviously apart from that Young He doll, which does drop tomorrow. But yeah, I think the, the uh, Triangle guys were the ones that did, were they not the ones that did all the killing, right? I think the Circle guys were like the grunts, the Square guys were the managers, and I think the Triangle guys uh, then were the ones that did all the killing. But he does only have a pistol here, whereas I thought they, they had like submachine guns or something. But yeah, this is still really cool. I was a big fan of Squid Game. You know, really want to see more more like a Fungo Pops made from that line. We know season two is coming out now as well. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. It, it is like that different head mold Freddy in a hood, but I love how he's still got the crown on top as well. Yeah, this is a really cool first pull. Very, very happy with that. All right, I've Got the second one out here, guys. I just want to make sure I've got the front, I think. Yeah, there we go. I was having a tough time. I mean, I'm no good when I'm not really looking at things, but here we go. What did we get? We've got something Marvel here, Freddy Fungo. It says Marvel on the back. I can't really tell there. On the front, 4,000 piece Freddy Funko as Thor. That does look pretty cool. 4,000 pieces, as you guys can see there. I think there is a metallic one of these, maybe limited to 1,000 or 2,000 pieces, not entirely sure. But yeah, this is the 4,000 piece Freddy Funko as Thor. And I guess this is quite timely with the recent release of Thor Love and Thunder, but this is more like the classical style Thor look from the comics. But I think this one is really, really cool. It is a bubble head, which is quite funny, but I, I guess it's still part of like the like Marvel licensing where they do have to be bubble heads. Holding up Mjolnir there. Very, very cool. I love the fact that it is also the helmet. It's not uh, like a crown. I mean, I guess they could have made like a little grey crown on the top as opposed to that spike. But yeah, I still think this one is really cool. The red cape there at the back, not really, I guess, too much going on. We have his ginger hair uh, that he has there coming out the back of the helmet. But if we go back round to the front, like I said, it is more of that kind of classical Thor look, you know, no kind of armour uh, on the arms. And he just really has that chest piece, the the kind of blues and yellows. I don't know if the paint job there on the boots is particularly great there on those kind of black lines and Looks like a few sort of scuff marks on this one on the chest as well, but that's kind of like Funko quality control for you guys. But yeah, really, really cool. I'm a big fan of Thor. Love the character. Um, so yeah, again, another happy pull for me from this box. 
So I've got this one out guys, it's facing the right way. I honestly would love to get one of the like 1,000 or 2,000 piece ones, you know, one of the rarer piece counts. But let's see what we got. Boom, there it is. I see Disney Tron on the back. I don't see the glow in the dark sticker on the front though. So yeah, this is the 4,000 piece Freddy Funko as Tron because there is a glow in the dark one that I've seen and I think that is limited to 1,000 pieces. And this is actually a really cool looking figure to be perfectly honest. I mean, it would have been awesome to get the glow in the dark one. I am a sucker for glow in the dark box. And yeah, of course it is a rarer piece count. Like I said, a thousand or 2000 pieces. I think it might be one of the rarer ones at a thousand pieces. But yeah, again, a really cool looking pop. He's got all that kind of, I don't even know what you call it. It's a uh, computerized-ness <laughs> going on there on the suit all in that kind of blue Tron-like color. I must admit, I have, I've seen Tron, the original one, and then Tron Legacy, but yeah, neither movie I've seen for many, many years. And I, I was never like a massive, massive fan, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, so wasn't really too bothered about this one, but it is a really cool looking pop. I love the blue hair as well. You know, it kind of goes with that blue crown. Uh, just a shame we didn't get the glow in the dark one, but we do have another three boxes to open up over the next few days. So like fingers crossed, we can get one of those more limited piece counts over the next few days. And that is going to do it for the first box as well as today's video. Let me first and foremost thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Drop some comments below. For anyone that picked up the Blacklight Bandit box, I want to know what Freddy Funkos you got inside. And we have another two boxes to open up guys as well as a third on its way. Like I said, I really hope it arrives in the next day or two so we can do four full days of unboxing fun. We will be opening up another one of these boxes tomorrow another one on Friday and if that one does arrive in time we will be opening that on Saturday as well so make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that what's the easiest way to stay tuned very very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on those videos as well as the other cool future content we have coming for you guys thanks for watching today's video and we will see you on the next one peace out nerds <laughs>